Tom Petty entertained music fans for the past 40 years, and tonight his voice is silenced, and he died far too soon at the age of 66 among his last concerts here at Wrigley Field at the end of June. In fact, the Chicago music scene dramatically influenced Petty's music. CBS 2's Jim Williams picks up our story. In what turned out to be his last Chicago concert, Tom Petty performed at Wrigley Field in the rain. He had no care in the world. He was having so much fun with the audience. Amanda Black was there, and in the shock of Petty's sudden death, you could hardly blame her for describing the Rock and Roll Hall of Famer in the present tense. His music is incredible. He's fun to watch. He engages with the audience a lot. Anything that's rock and roll. In two minutes and 20 seconds, this song sums up the rock and roll experience. Lynn Bramer and his colleagues at WXRT have been paying tribute to Petty all day. What made him great? He was a phenomenal lyricist. This guy had line after line after line that you would love to quote to your friends in hours of need. Perfectly crafted songs influenced, as Petty often said, by the blues that came out of Chicago's Chess Records. You cannot deal in the basics of rock and roll without dealing with chess records. At the Wrigley Field concert, Tom Petty said he fell in love with Chicago 40 years ago. The feeling was mutual. Knowing that you saw his last concert in Chicago, what are your thoughts? I'm so grateful I went. There might have been a time in my life when I thought 66, well, that's a good run. But now, older and wiser, 66, way too young. Way too young indeed. WXRT's Lynn Bramer told us when Petty's first album came out, radio programmers across the country initially would not play it because looking at the album cover, they thought he was a punk rocker. Rob and Erica, it took them a while, but they realized they had a classic on their hands. And you had no better person than Lynn Bramer kind of take you along the journey today. Joyous, sad, but joyous yeah. singing along with Petty's music. And hopefully yeah. hearing this, it'll be introduced to new generations to come, even when he's gone. That's right. Okay, thanks, Jim. Mm -hmm.